From bulgogi to sweet potato, welcome to the Korean Pizza Club, KPC, where we serve a fresh slice of Korea with a side of fun. And I'm your host, David Kim. We talk about Korean trends, dating, and life in Korea weekly. So join us for fun and informative talks. Okay, that was a long intro wrote, written by ChatGPT, the hottest scriptwriter nowadays. So it might be a little cringy. <laughs> I might revise it onwards. So. Please bear with that. But anyways, yes, we have, I'm surrounded by some- uh, Fire ladies. Fire Beautiful, ladies. Hot, sexy. Yeah, three ladies in the studio today. Please introduce yourselves. Hi guys, I'm Kelsey. Um, I'm a YouTuber, Kelsey the Korean, and my channel, I talk about Korea on my channel. You really need to like be yourself here, right? Like, <laughs> uh, that's not your like, usual wait, self on I your YouTube channel. I did meditation. Show. I took my yeah, She just came from yoga. I'm like so chill today. Right? Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. on a calm streak. <laughs> no, no, like oh. we'll see. We'll see. Like as soon okay. as we're talking, it's going to come and out. And you said yeah. I yeah. can't talk about sex. So like, then <laughs> I'm like, my hands are tied. <laughs> you already like, talked about it. I can't talk about it. We've been like one minute in and you've already said the word. But okay, next. Hi guys, my name is Anna. I am a Korean YouTuber too. I also have my own clothing line where I sell Korean clothes and accessories. Wow, wow. Nova, put in the, put in the plug, plug. plugging wow. it yeah. in. <laughs> Check it out there, but please link it. Check okay, it out down okay. below. And I'm friends with all these people. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Savini. I currently do English radio. I recently became single. Oh. <laughs> I also yes. do YouTube Why as videos. well. So all the guys. Hit her yeah. up. Yeah. She's kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, seriously, I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, speaking of being single, today we're going to tackle an important topic uh, revolving around the Korean society because uh, it's an informative but fun podcast. So the main agenda for today is why Koreans are not getting married Ooh. anymore, not having babies anymore. Mm. Yeah, why is that happening? And on top of that, the fun part is our single life. To, yes, I want yeah. the tea. The yeah, the tea, <laughs> the tea that connects to why we're not getting married. Like we have, like I hate to say this phrase or term, mm -hmm. but we have a thing in Korea called kyoron jongyongi, which means like wow. the right time to marry, the or, right yeah. age, yeah, the, the right marital age. age. So, like, how do you feel about that term? For starters, I think it's dumb. I think it's cringe <laughs> because I only turned 25, so I was 24. Uh -huh. But then these like marriage companies are like, oh yeah. my god, you're the ripe age, like the perfect age, like oh guys god, want no. you, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I'm like, F off. Like, you know. That's yeah, I get those texts every single day. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I like, never got a text Me ever. Neither. They even know my salary. <gasps> really? And they're like, really? you're premium gold tier. Yeah. And you yeah. know, yeah. like, oh, I can match wait, you up. wait, That's he's putting. Really? No, 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 no. He's like, I have <laughs> all the girls. The he's premium no. gold tier. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like those like ticks you put on like information sites when you're like um, signing up to websites mm. and stuff. Those provide the Are information to those kind of companies. Really? Like yeah, so, yeah. you really and need for to me, read. Like, they those. go through like uh, university graduation albums. And yeah, then they take your information crazy. from there, and then they just like text everyone. Maybe this is why we're not getting married. <laughs> yeah, is that it? I don't know, but yeah. What do you think? Why why aren't people getting married? Here. Uh, I think that just the cost of living, for example, is just uh. really expensive. And also, I feel like a lot of um, Koreans have a lot of standards that you meet than other cultures, personally. And um, I think the biggest one also is there's a lot of like parents involved. So we have a thing called Sangkyeonle, which yeah. basically is the parents meet uh, before the wedding. And sometimes, even before the guy proposes, they will do a Sangkyeonle just to see if the parents will get along with each other. Yeah. And if not, not um the guy sometimes doesn't go through with yeah. the or the girl or the girl yeah. they don't go through with it so i feel like there's just a lot of factors that play into it other than just like just being in solely like love, love yeah. right, right. Like, it's like very the weird. stars have to align and yeah oftentimes korean parents can be really judgy and so they if they don't <laughs> like the economic status of the other person's partner like they both have a lot of pride you yeah, know what yeah, i yeah. mean it's like, like a it's like power a power yeah. it's like a power thing yeah so like before people go into this hangya they're like like they say, Appa, like please just don't talk or like right. somebody like just like don't yeah, act it's like, like an ego yeah, thing. It's like and an it's ego like thing. When you see, it's like almost um, what's that uh, drama? It's like uh, 
Oh yeah, the heirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like the K drama heirs, but it's like you guys are both just like middle class, just chill and yeah. just like yeah. get it, be in love and get married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the parents are so like. I know. I, I've heard a lot of stories of my friends since they're married. They're like yeah. they go into these like parent parent meetings. Yeah. And the dude's like basically getting interrogated. Yeah. By yeah. the other father. How much do you earn? What's yeah, your earning prospect you earn? for yeah. ten years? Do you own a house? Yeah. Like, do you have any debt? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and nowadays yeah. they even like require you like medical what do you call them like sheets <gasps> if you have like stds or like some <laughs> what? Uh, diseases or really? whatever yeah, yeah wow. so it's like, it's a like an exam yeah, yeah it is and you need like the approval like okay you're approved go on with my daughter Stop so if like your parents as you say you bought somebody and then your parents like were to say no like mm-hmm. would you go through with the wedding i mean i would fight definitely would i fight? would definitely fight um but like but i think you have that power because you have some sort of economic independence a lot of korean men who don't have that Right. They yeah. rely, like for instance, if your parents live in Seoul, and of course you don't really have a house in Seoul, yeah. and you rely on that them in that way, then you can't really say no. Also, right. because sometimes the parents pay for a lot of the de- deposits yes. yeah, for yeah. the in, apartments and stuff. I feel stuff. like in Korean marriages, parents are a lot more like involved financially yeah. in the wedding, and also some provide the house. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's because house. of culture and because of like the economic house price. And, yeah. 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 I mean, naturally, we're all talking about housing prices now, yeah. and it's just crazy. Like nobody can afford a decent house in Seoul. And Korea, we, they also have like nemur and like the like you, yeah, like you gifts, give gifts and stuff. Oh, not bribes, no, but honsu, honsu, honsu. honsu. Subini is a little weak sorry, in Korean. Sorry, so oh, honsu. She, she thought honsu, honsu is bribery, honsu. but that's like <laughs> marital <laughs> gifts. Yeah, marital gifts. gifts. Yeah, yeah. But isn't that kind of going slightly out of fashion these days? No, no, a lot of people still, still do it. Really? Yeah, yeah a lot of like, people are choosing not to. No. For example, like usually, usually no. uh, the guy prepares like the house mm-hmm. and the girl prepares like the uh, like the, uh, the refrigerators or like the washing machine oh. or like yeah. air conditioner, stuff like that. And also or, like, you have, have to watch buy sometimes. gifts. Yeah, you have to buy gifts to the parents, parents of, as right. well. of your partner. Right. Yeah. And um, when my mom, when I... Mm, Okay, when my mom bought me this Rolex, I was oh. talking to the. Whoa! Sister. Your mom bought <laughs> you a like, Rolex. No, no, no. Can I marry you? <laughs> <laughs> no, like the seller of the Rolex was like, "Wow, you're so young. Usually, uh, people get but this yeah. for the sangyeon, yeah, for the yeah, present yeah, 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 that yeah. way." And I'm like, "Really?" But it's like really yeah. pricey. But I feel like it's really wasteful. It if is. you're like just middle class, why would you buy a Rolex for your partner's parents? That's like, why they a lot say, of that's respected. Oh, not the parents, but they say it's because um, when you are married and you go through like a hard time you could end up selling the watch like it's kind mm. of like a yeah, it thing. makes sense because like yeah. Rolex holds the price but for like Cartier and a lot of other brands other brands it doesn't, it doesn't so yeah, it's yeah. just for show yeah, and for it's, like it's, yeah, you it's, need it to feel respected yeah, yeah yeah it's like an ego uh, boost on your side but you it's know. really case by case like you know what I mean yeah. yeah and like the thing about marriage is like I'm hearing a lot of money talk here it's mm-hmm. very realistic pragmatic in Korea like as someone said um you know even when we go through like the wedding ceremonies Mm -hmm. you already like are crippled in debt Mm -hmm. like going through the weddings themselves Mm -hmm. so like people are like trying to collect as much money as they can from the guests and all that kind of stuff so it's just crazy over here getting married like it's like a whole ritual like a yeah i don't know so but also aside from the financial stuff it's like i feel like the gender wars also in korea has deepened a lot Mm -hmm, over mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. years that might also be a factor what have you experienced then have you like, had any gender yeah. wars no, no, with I was, some males? No, no, no. But like, because I lived in the UK right. before and I came back to Korea back in like in 2020. Mm. And then I only just realized then just how bad it was here uh, between the male and the female. Have sexes. you actually felt it? Yeah. yeah. Like, what are some examples? Like, I swear some of my friends are just like, like they've just completely so like sworn off men. Oh, they hate Korean They kind men. of hate. Like, especially mm. Korean men, right? Yeah. yeah. And, I, and some guys that I've talked to, yeah. um, they definitely have like the Han Nam Chung. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> like incel attitude. Korean the guys. Incel attitude. Vibes. They think yeah. women are just so good for nothing. Yeah. They have an easy life. Like, they will just suck off, leech off guys. Yep. David, what do you think about this? <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot constantly? I'm not that kind of guy. Do you agree? Guy. I'm not that kind of guy. No, I don't agree on any sides, like the radical feminists or the incels, like fighting each other. Mm. I, I personally think, I don't know, I like to surround myself with good, positive people. So mm-hmm. like people yeah. around me, they don't really fight with each other being like mis- misogynistic yeah. or like that kind of stuff. Yeah. But like I do admit that that kind of narrative 
on the internet flows through the media mm -hmm. or like in some kind of way and we're all affected to some point yeah. Yeah. and it it does really like you know worsen whenever we're talking about these kind of subjects and then like men are siding with men women are siding with women so yeah. yeah it's creating a problem i don't know why it's so severe here like why yeah. do you think do you guys want to get married though just like because i know a lot of people don't want to get married these days so uh, that's I, just like a I still, I still have still plans for marriage. Yeah, yeah. I'm skeptical about monogamy, so mm. maybe oh. I'll get married if there's like a tax redemption or some sort of um. <laughs> yeah, for me, so law. Korean. Yeah, yeah. I need to have <laughs> some sort of benefit. Yeah, mm. but a yeah. lot of like advanced countries, a lot of more couples are thinking in this way, and it's not just us being more calculative. It's actually we actually are yearning for love and mm -hmm. something that's mm -hmm. actually yeah, gonna yeah. last. Mm -hmm. I care more about romantic love. Like I don't like if I find someone upon that I want to genuinely live with for the rest of my life, I can do that, and I can just like. Like just don't go live with that yeah, person yeah. but for me like the actual certificate the paper it doesn't mean anything mm -hmm. to me yeah exactly. for me it's about the love yeah mm -hmm. wow romantic wow. i know <laughs> <laughs> but if marriage does bring me tax benefits then i will yeah. <laughs> of course yeah. you guys are but all for single me, right? yeah, getting married yes. is not like a yeah. i'm single you guys are all yeah, single yeah, right yeah. okay slide into their dms like you know they're on korean <laughs> girls here <laughs> yeah um yeah, but so i feel like uh, the one important factor is that mm. Gen Z or like this generation, yeah. a lot of the fantasies that exist in the upper generation regarding like marriage or mm -hmm, men, mm -hmm. it's like disappeared. Yeah. 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 We've got more uh, practical. Yeah, concepts. but it's like the discrepancy between the generations. Like your parents uh, want something from you, like in their standards, but you want to like resist towards that. So yeah. like it's that clash too. So I think we're talking about like generational, societal, yes, like society, gender, yeah. like there's definitely monetary. a generational gap. Like yeah. it's like just a shit show so basically oh i shouldn't be cussing but um basically that's the big best way to put yeah. it out i think yeah like it's every aspect out there so like i tell my dad like i'm sorry that i love you but like once your generation dies out <laughs> like it's gonna be a way different Whoa. like it's true though it's true yeah. yeah yeah like i had a big fight uh during the lunar new year so uh -huh. like in february with my grandmother because my parents got divorced like three years ago mm. and every year for the three years my grandma's like now you have to do all the cooking and cleaning for uh, your dad and blah 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 and i was like i understand where she's coming from yeah. but i tell her that that's not you know my job mm -hmm. <laughs> you know i have mm -hmm. work and um and my grandma was just getting so mad at me mm -hmm. and she then i was like, like the role this internalized yeah. sexism yeah. it's like so I strong know. so per, 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 mm. persistent yeah and my dad i don't know how much he agrees to that mm -hmm. um but it's it's hard to uh Mm. No, scrap. Yeah, just I, I understand because, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I live with my grandma too, and I'm a dude. But she's like, "Oh, you don't go near the kitchen." Like, whenever I go mm. try to cook something, <sighs> she's like, "Don't do that. Don't do that." Like, no. <laughs> I'm you... gonna be really honest though. I've been starting to learn cooking from my mom because I was like, I'm pretty sure if I ever am like a situation where like hunger uh -huh. or like something, uh -huh. like I'm gonna have to cook no yeah. don't and like the pressure. <laughs> no i yeah. was like i gotta at least know how to cook like 10 dishes so i've been learning from my like, mom like like the extent of it is hilarious but like, he will never have that pressure. yeah like i oh, i no. order literally like diet lunch boxes mm -hmm. like 40 of them and it's just microwavable so like i just have to put it in the microwave yeah but would you want to eat microwavable food or a no, no, hot no, no. meal from like no, no, your no, wife what, you what i'm getting what, what i'm getting to is like even if i put it in the microwave my grandma suddenly freaks out oh. and she's like oh. why why are you like in doing, the kitchen yeah why are you doing okay, that I, i'm here for that you just focus right. on your studying earning money and that okay. kind of stuff and like yeah. i mean it's a very different generation i mean so, like so for the lunar years i made my dad do the dishes for the first time in like 23 years of my life <laughs> <laughs> you Training made your dad him. do the dishes yeah because i did the dishes and then now my mom's not there uh, so there's no woman to do the dishes i'm like okay yeah dad you can do the dishes and he did it for the first time and he knows it's like technically correct right, right. but it was mm -hmm. so out of habit because it's like years of stacked habit <laughs> It's just, yeah, it's yeah. Very. Um, it doesn't know even wrong, know how to like wash it. No, like he, he you're in a privileged know. situation. You don't want to lose that, right? <laughs> like, it just felt very weird. And then my grandma actually dragged me into the other room, mm -hmm. and she was like, "You make your dad do the dishes at home too, don't you?" And she was just like, really, "Oh no!" Uh, making me like this. Sort of I heard yeah, that a lot of like people get into fights about that. Like when the moms see like their husbands like yeah. doing it, mm -hmm. then they're just like, "Oh." 
like what I saw you like doing? your mother in law. Yeah, the mother in law. The mother in law say a lot. Yeah. Yeah. There's so, also the, the uh. thing in the modern age now is that women have their own jobs and we are actually right. earning money for ourselves. And sometimes they even out earn the men. Exactly. Right. So it's like True. in the household, if both people are working and that only the woman is supposed to do all the housework, mm -hmm. then this becomes like unbalanced. Yeah. And that's what like is different to like yeah. grandma's generation. And, and I yeah. think it's sad because like what you say is true. Like even if there is a glass ceiling, the woman's salary is going up uh, in some extent mm -hmm. and we're earning equally, almost equally. Yeah. And But when it comes to the decision of having a baby, and discontinuing Ooh, someone's job it's babies. always the woman who sacrifices yeah. her job her career yep. and l becomes the housewife mm. and does all that kind of stuff i mean some might say biologically that makes sense because like the mom has like the breastfeed and whatever like more attachment to the baby but like society wise it's kind of unfair right like yeah. the woman has to always get the burden of like quitting yeah. her job and there's mm -hmm. no social welfare to support yeah her, exactly or, that's what in korea it's really bad no support for women mm. trying to get back into work or yeah, after yeah. pregnancy mm -hmm. i think that's worse than other countries I, nowadays actually like the government policies are pretty good mm. but the problem is like the public shaming or like the perspective yeah, there's like inward. judgment so like even if there is a policy like if you quit work people in the workplace are gonna be like They're leeching off oh yeah she's just free riding she's gonna forget all her job yeah, uh work yeah. after she comes back yeah. like that's a loss for the company yeah right and that kind of stuff that's so, why they don't want like, to hire do women you... actually yeah oh, and and as a man side too like men have like parental leave too right mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i've seen like very few men actually use, use that right yeah. because mm -hmm. you get shamed even more like if you use it yeah. yeah you're a dude and you're gonna go like take care of your child mm. like so the pressure is even more As on the men take too. care of your child like like not like financially but just like in yeah the yeah house, yeah right? in the house yeah. like you know you don't have a wife or anything so it's like a very vicious cycle and nobody right. wins so. so i feel there's no respectful social uh, consensus in right. regards to like using that welfare mm. Mm. and for instance like I used to date a Swedish guy and Sweden still has like two point something birth rate, mm. although they're also a really advanced nation, mm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was there on a Tuesday and uh, Tuesday, like one, two p.m. Mm. And tons of dads with strollers are just, you know, at oh, cafes really? and drinking coffee and whatnot. It's like super, you can't see that here. No. Exactly, because they're using their parental leave as a dad yeah. and they get same parental leaves as the woman and they're both encouraged to use both. And the office culture is just, you're really a POS if you don't mm. use that up for mm -hmm. your babies, like family oriented. Yeah. But it's like, I don't see Korean general consensus becoming to that yeah point. it has to get normalized you know like yeah. using parental leave and that kind of stuff mm -hmm. you know? like i know uh, one of my friends she like recently got married to and she gave birth and um basically she quit her job but then her like mother-in-law was like saying oh like you know like not then and like you know like back i went yeah age. i gave birth and i like went back to work like straight yeah. away <laughs> like and then like my it's like different you know what i mean I nowadays know. so but then they're like your mother-in-law so you, yeah. you can't like re retaliate or do I something mean, like I that you can but i mean like, you can all Korean girls are brainwashed to be like really good yeah. girls yeah. so it's very hard for you to like retaliate even yeah. me saying to my grandma that it's not a big deal right making my dad do the dishes it came with a tremendous amount of guilt exactly. saying that because i'm like oh confucius mindset you can't say anything <laughs> bad to like your elders yeah, yeah, yeah. and i don't want to it's very and i avoid going to my grandma's mm -hmm. at this yeah, point because yeah, yeah, yeah. so i don't want to deal with that i have a question for you girls okay um you we've talked about all of these negative uh, <laughs> aspects of marriage in korea mm. despite all of this would you still want to marry of course and have a baby Yes, I want three babies. Subini says yes. What yeah. about you? Guys? If I could push out three babies, I want three babies. I don't. I really don't know about babies, but I do uh, want to find someone that I would feel like my life partner. Okay. And, live with them. and Kelsey okay. said she's. Skeptical. I don't want babies. Mm. I feel I'm like pretty sure that I don't want babies. Mm -hmm. Um, about marriage, like, eh, I, I don't believe in monogamy, so okay. I feel like you mm. know, if I love someone, mm. um, and, uh. I don't know, it, and the marriage um, helps me in the economical sense, <laughs> <laughs> like in terms of insurance or tax benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yes, but then it's a social construct, so I don't have any fantasies about like white birds and. Okay. You know, yeah, if it's going to be a benefit to me, then obviously I will choose that. But like, it's not like I feel obligated to because it's like a societal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially like because that. I don't want children. I don't feel. Can like I ask I you guys to. why you guys don't want children? I'm just curious. It's like I just never liked them since I was. <laughs> <laughs> They're annoying. Okay, okay, okay. You know what they say yeah, about yeah, people yeah, who okay. don't like children? I like dogs. <laughs> 
want pets. I want pets. And like, I can barely look after myself. I love children. Yeah. Yeah, Wouldn't you want to see like yourself in? But also, like, I, I just, I don't want to ruin my body. So. Okay. Oh, that's that's one point. Yeah. Mm. You, you, you literally give sacrifice your everything for, and your life revolves around this person, and Mm. I'm just not ready at all Uh, to do that. No. Well, okay. You guys said like each yes or no about marriage, but like I'm I'm putting another barrier there. What if mm. your mother-in-law, like you love this person dearly, yeah. like the husband, but what if your mother-in-law is like a very traditional Korean Ditch. woman Ditch. and she's like, oh, you need to follow all the cultural, you know, cu- traditional standards here. You need to do like the housework. Like I would genuinely walk away from the relationship. Yeah. Same. Really? Yeah, yeah. Even if you love the guy? Yeah, there I are mean, many people in life you can on, love, David. It depends on okay, the guy's yeah. perspective. If oh. he's willing to side with me, but usually they're not because they cannot go beyond oh, yeah. their mm. beyond their teachings of Confucianism. Mm. So they will usually gen, gen, generally side with their mother, right? And especially if he's tied to the mother like oh. in a uh, um, money wise yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'll walk away from so it's literally a deal breaker for you yeah. like, like okay like it's like she said if the guy is like willing to negotiate it's like you only have to see her like once a year uh-huh. and you don't have to do anything else uh-huh. then I'll be like okay I'll, I'll do it but like if it's like regularly I have to meet with the mom she tells me she controls my life then I'll be like no it's not worth it yeah some mothers oh. absolutely know not the worth it but the thing is, have a yeah, yeah but the thing is personally for me I wouldn't mind obeying them but I would try my best to be on good ties with them mm-hmm. like constantly and like Obviously, if I have a problem with it, but I would say it in like a very mannerful way mm. and try to like right, get her course. mind to change it. But do I'm not going to be, be like, possible. Though? I do think I could do it. And then yeah. I would want to learn from like the traditions uh, and stuff. Too. I'm, I'm pretty. I think shocked. I'm pretty traditional. Yeah, you. you I kind feel of like are out of like yeah. In like, the traditional like, spectrum. Yeah, in here. The, in like, the spectrum. I think this is pretty much the spectrum. Here, <laughs> yeah, you know? like, very, like, yeah, it kind of is. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Are you willing to even become a housewife? And have yeah, yeah, kids. yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like, mm. I want kids. I want three, th- oh, three so kids. So, so yeah, speaking yeah, of yeah. this, I, you know, in my recent video, a lot of people were saying like, you know, actually, this isn't just a Korean problem because like it's a global it's problem. Worldwide. And everyone's mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah. And like scientifically approaching, like what's ironic is when w- like in developed countries where women's rights are enhancing and like you're getting better salary, you're getting better policies and blah blah blah, the birth rates falling, 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 falling mm-hmm. while activists or women uh, people are saying like it's because we don't have enough rights we don't have enough blah 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 equality and that's why nobody's want nobody's wanted to getting married but on the other side in third world countries where they don't have any of those factors and more traditional you know values are uh, valued Mm. they're getting more more babies and population so it's very ironic like it doesn't because what the wealthier countries the more wealth countries you have more options People yeah. are more realized, like in the third world countries, yeah, you have babies because it's like, what else are you going to... A lot of the times it's the best choice for the girl in economic yeah. sense. Uh... But now women in the modern age have a lot more options. They have, have their own, they can actually literally live off by themselves being single. Uh-huh. So they don't feel the necessarily need to mm. depend on a man to secure her life yeah. if she I, has her own money. I think it's also in Korea, the reason why not a lot of women want to give birth or they don't give birth at an earlier age even though if it might be like an accident right because yeah. in the states there's a lot of people who consider it as a blessing mm. but i feel like cultural wise um if it's like if you have a baby before marriage especially in like asia i feel like it is not Shined really upon. open yeah it's kind of like not a lot of people are open about that but then also the ironic thing is once you start turning like 28 or 30 and the girl does get like accidentally pregnant then it's somewhat still okay because you're at the age to give birth or something so recently i was having a topic with my friends about that and i was like i feel like that's very interesting about asian culture like you don't see a lot of young asian women giving birth or like even if it was by accident Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i feel like if korea is more open about like you know just like having babies before like marriage too like i feel like it can go up i think you have to just change that mindset Mm. it's just what but I, I think that also goes with the generation right, that is right. coming with. So yeah. speaking of, speaking of babies, though, like let's pre- <gasps> let's assume that yeah. you guys have a baby. Mm. You're gonna have ew. to raise the baby in Korea. Did you say ill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no. God! You're so you anti-baby. Have it. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. baby's because I taught kids violin and stuff for a mm. long time. I'm just like I'm so sick of you. Okay, let, let's just assume that okay. you have a baby. Pretend. Uh, not only do you have to give birth to the baby, we, we've gone through all the hardships of marriage and all parents and blah, blah, blah. You have the baby, you're kind of set. 
you'd have to now send the baby to academies yeah. and school and like English teaching, whatever, uh, speaking, whatever stuff. Uh, what do you think about the environment of raising a kid here? Personally, if I were to um, have a kid, I don't think I would raise my kid here, especially because <laughs> especially because I had a childhood like in the States and I feel like I wasn't didn't have like the norm of like what Korean children go through here. And I know how much stress they go through yeah. because they literally after school, they go to academy, they go to piano class, taekwondo class. Like, it ends at 12. Yeah, yeah. literally yeah. like they don't have time to even sleep or enjoy their childhood. So uh, maybe I would live outside of the States. I mean, live outside in the States for like a little bit and then come back um, mm, same, when, same. when their like, like, child is... I like, always like, joke about this, but I would raise my kids in the Alps. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. r- literally, like in Switzerland or somewhere. But mm-hmm. like who here has gotten like traditional, conventional Korean education? Like system? Kelsey, you've... I would say so because I was in like... Um, Australia, Canada, what, until elementary school, but then from middle school, I was in, like, Korean Mm -hmm. education, Mm -hmm. and especially private education, like, private high school, and then, like, Yonsei, which is, like, everyone there has had private, Mm -hmm. like, education. All of my peers at Yonsei have had at least 200,000 USD put in them for their education because they studied Mm -hmm. abroad and whatnot, and also, and I do not want to uh, raise my child, also educate my child in Korea, because there's so much competition to go into, like, this universities in Korea that doesn't actually have much ba- value globally yeah. Yeah. from my perspective that's, that's it's that's just as thing. just as hard to get into Yonsei as Harvard I would say uh-huh. because it's like everyone every Korean is trying to yeah, get into yeah. this like yeah, one school I but think globally I can't too. get a job in America or like whatnot yeah, it's they just don't crazy yeah. yeah like you're it all crazy. fighting for like a bottleneck you know like yeah. a local exactly. university that nobody knows in global standards yeah you know? like, yeah but they're living in such a small bubble yeah, yeah yeah how many academies have you gone to like max kelsey um i mean in my private high school uh-huh. i was at school from 7 a.m to 11 p.m me too yeah yeah and then um some students i i did not but some kids would go to two academies after that so they would end their day in 2 a.m yeah and then too. sleep God. at 3 a.m and then come back to school 7. at 7 a.m so you guys had yaja too like nighttime yes of course that's nighttime. why my school was until like 11 p.m okay. because you need mandatory studying i thought it was abolished at your time like the, um, it was a choice. Uh, ah, like you don't have choice. to. But like, what exactly do you do in this yadza? You uh, study. It, you just study for the Korean SAT, and the Korean yeah. SAT requires you to memorize a lot of unnecessary rules and histories and whatnot. Yeah. Um, math yadza, equations. Yeah. So yadza is nighttime voluntary studying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and for, for it's voluntary. But for, it's not voluntary. But it's for not me, voluntary. in uh, my generation, it was like pretty mandatory. Like the teachers would actually like you know, uh, supervise you. They would walk around yeah. and if someone's like dozing off or watching stuff, some stupid stuff yeah. on their phone, they would like hit you in the head and yeah. stuff so like that. Same, same It's like prison. <laughs> but I also think it's like the parents, they're like, oh, the parents always talk with each other. So yeah, like I send my kid off to, you know, this academy, yeah. this academy. My teach, my kid is learning from this teacher uh-huh. who yep. came out of this school. Yep. And then that's when the parents are like, oh, like am I, is, am I not giving my child like a good education? Yeah. But like, I feel like that I think also that's exists what it is in like other countries, other countries yeah like it especially does. if it's like like the beige moms and they compare yeah and, and i have to admit child. like when i was in i was going to academies the only place i could make friends were was the academies mm. yeah. and actually the good because friends in high school like, i don't have a lot of friends left yeah. because you compete with them so much so oh, really? yeah it's a very vicious cycle because like if you don't go to academies you get left out from the circle and you get left out with the people that don't are not studious and they're mm. like highly possible to be like you know irchins, like mm-hmm. the bullies mm-hmm. so if you want to be in the good positive circle you have to go to these academies but they're extremely expensive Expensive. so your parents have to like sell all their properties or whatever to afford you go going to these honestly my my friends in the west just they just can't grasp this idea yeah it's crazy crazy to them Mm. like yeah why would you spend all your childhood years living like exactly if my parents had spent the amount of education into like buying stocks for me that would have been so much more beneficial yeah Uh, if they just bought like alphabet or whatever back then tesla (laughs) i mean not you, and then yeah. you, set up, you, you can, you can sell your anything. business or just whatever. SMP Samsung. Just yeah. anything. Oh my god, I wish my parents did that. Yeah. I would be rich by now. Okay, yeah. David. So if you guys are parents, would you guys do that? Yeah. Not more than education, you yeah. guys would do more. Yeah, that I makes think more I would. Sense. If yeah. you were to. Just from but well, Anna's not going to give my birth. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. She's not going to have a baby. So, I mean, she's just have to worry about it. Yeah, speaking about your life, I think we've talked about 
pretty much all, all the grim stuff now. Mm -hmm. um, Kelsey, does she have to Kelsey go? has to go in a bit. I'll but stay 20 more minutes. Okay, okay. wow. She's like, let, let, let Kelsey talk. Okay, let's let Kelsey talk okay. first. So we're talking about like marriage and birth and right, uh, life here, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The, um, single life? The tea. Yeah, the tea. The tea. The the tea. tea. Give us the tea. Single Kelsey. life. But no has sex to talk, it. okay? Yeah. What's going on with your guys' life? life. No, Dating okay. life. Dating life. Like, nothing's going on. I'm embracing <laughs> the Korean single lifestyle. Um, I don't know. I don't want to date at all these days. Really? 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 When yeah. was the last date you went on in Korea? <laughs> that, that it's been like she's like last it's week been months really I really Whoa. like hanging out with my friends oh I don't know. yeah wait, wait so like you said it's been months so yeah. what's your like term of like oh it's been a long time since I've not dated like mm, three months is oh my god long, isn't she it it's so easy to get a date. Wow. Like apps. Oh, you guys use apps. If you're a girl. Use app. Wow. Yeah. I'm or literally like, like dying life. here. <laughs> I'm dying here all by myself for really? like oh, like almost a year. But and you I'm have not, a verified tech. You I'm know, not your complaining, are but you're like, into your yeah. it's been like three months. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when you're 25 and like 30. Oh, <gasps> wow. Ah! You're just roasting me it back is. and forth. Wow. A difference between man and a female. Okay. Okay. I'll just like exit. David left the chat. What's your type? Do you uh, want me to introduce rich, my friends? Rich is his type. Okay. No, 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 no. It's true. I, I just like people with good personalities. Good and rich. Yeah. Safe. yeah. Uh, but in general, in general, though, before we get into our individual lives, like single lives, yeah. like I, I noticed a lot of foreigners mm -hmm. in Korea saying like, why is the dating culture so intense here? And like, why is it so everywhere? Like, you feel so alone if you're yeah. single. Because literally, there's everywhere you go, there's just couples. Yeah, yeah. and everybody's cuddling, go, holding hands, doing yeah. like egg yolk to each other, and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I love, I love it. You don't like anything related I know. to kids, like, like cutie stuff. Or like cutesy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think... I like sexy guys. I hate egg yolk. Yeah. <laughs> but why do you think it's so like dating culture and like that's so prevalent here? Why is it so hard to be single here in Korea? I mean, if you have a lot of friends, it doesn't really matter. Wait, why is it so hard to be single? Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of people saying like, it's so hard to be single in Korea because you feel so alone, like the contrast between the people on the streets. I personally yeah. feel that Korea lacks the general philosophy when in terms of like loving yourself or like you're, the philosophy here is like you're not really complete unless you have a relationship. Mm. So a lot of but my like being Korean okay friends, with being by yourself. Yeah, yeah they yeah. don't have that. So a lot of my Korean friends are like, "Why haven't you dated for three months? Do you want me to like hook you up with a guy?" It's like very common here. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I almost feel like, "Oh, am I weird for not you know dating for three months and yeah. whatnot?" Whereas in the West, I'm like, "Oh, I haven't. I don't feel like dating these days." They're like, "Oh yeah, good for you. You're working mm. on yourself." Uh, I feel like that exists less in Korea. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Anna? What about what? your single life? Well, are what you was feel your question no. there before? You were asking, Basically, are, are you feeling pressure? Yeah, are you something? feeling pressure being like single? Like, no. do you feel the pressure to date a person? I, I don't feel, feel the pressure to date. out of that social... My, my dad really doesn't care if I get married or what. He's like, if you're happy with your life, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I personally feel a little bit pressured because my mom's like, oh, like... Because I want to get married, so right. she's like, the next person you meet mm. or like the, you know, the, the candidates after, like, they have to be kind of like marriage material. material to be honest i think my dad he says like oh you don't need to get married because i think in some way he still feels like i'm his, his like female daughter he oh. feel jealous that he might send me off oh. to someone else mm. i genuinely because he after my, I got my first like, boyfriend please get married and i was like please just get yeah, married yeah it's different for dads i think after yeah, i got my first I boyfriend you being like a good mom to like three kids yeah i oh, want sweet. i mean if i can push it out like you <laughs> can know i tell I mean? my I'm story tiny. yeah okay tell your story girl yeah, exactly. yeah so after my first ever boyfriend like a uh, uni my mom i told my mom first and then like she told my dad mm -hmm. and then he, I, he never told me this directly but after he heard the news yeah. finally he like got so and he was like uh -oh. drinking he was like i feel weird about this Mm. Well, that's my first boyfriend. boyfriend. Okay. But so. <laughs> what I've felt about you, Anna, like my personal like yes. observation is like you say this on like live right now. Yes. But I've noticed you pretty much hustling all the time. She I know she's very passionate. She, she dates days after dates. I like guys and I like physical contact. She's like, like I don't yeah. feel pressure to date anybody, but she's like 24-7 no, 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 like I'm hustling. No, but that's a different question. It's like I want to because oh. I want the guy. But I don't feel pressure from anybody okay, else. Okay. It's like I want to date because I like the okay. guy. I like hot guys. Mm. So <laughs> it's not external pressure. No, it's just not yourself liking guys. Of course. Oh, I do okay. it because I want to, not okay, because okay. any. I feel like, oh, people are it's saying so funny. I should. She's, she's actually tried to be like, no, I'm not 
gonna date any guys. And then I never said that in my life. No, like there was a part in a phase like fight, like two fight. months ago where you're like, yeah, I'm not. I'm just gonna like focus on work. I'm not gonna like. Yeah, date I remember guys. that phase too. And yeah. then and then like two weeks later, she's like, oh, I'm talking to yeah, someone. When you were launching Nova and stuff, you were like, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but that, that was genuinely. I didn't date anyone for like two weeks. <laughs> two yeah, weeks. No, it, but that's oh, exactly two. what I said. I said the exact same thing. No, but that was genuinely. Uh, I was genuinely working. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, then. yeah. Yeah. yeah, for me, but I, for me, yeah. uh, if I, you haven't dated for a year, almost. No, he, no, you broke up like not that long ago. Almost a year, yeah, ballpark year. <laughs> but, no, but he is, he has to, he has a lot of debt. He needs to work. <laughs> <laughs> You're just exposing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dating is expensive. But yeah. uh, for me, as a guy, like I feel not only family, like of course my parents, like my mom especially, and my grandma is like, oh, you need to get a wife for yourself now. Mm-hmm. Like it's now or never. You're missing your prime time, blah, blah, blah. I, I ignore all that kind of stuff. But it's like more like my friends, whenever we meet for soju or whatever, the first topic that comes up is like your dating status. Mm. And if you're single, they're like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You that's, must be so sad. Yeah, that's the pressure I'm talking about. Mm. Like if you're single, people just don't, you know, don't accept that. They're like, yeah. oh, you need to be. I think it's because in Korea, you can't really go to restaurants alone and maybe like movies oh, alone. Yeah, people yeah, also yeah. judge you mm. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to eat pork belly alone, but like people <laughs> think can. I'm a depressed person. If now I... you have a food channel. You're going to make it. <laughs> you can't genuinely go and eat alone. No, yeah. but if I go to the movies, like, you know, like I'm sitting alone and both on my on my left and right, there's like couples, you know, mm. doing that kind of stuff. I feel alone. So like mm. I do admit that I have some kind of pressure coming from peers or like mm. people like and you don't really go out to like p- like clubs like party like you yeah, don't yeah, do yeah, that yeah. with your friend group yeah like I, d- I just don't understand why koreans don't accept a yeah. person being single yeah like they don't leave we'll you that. yeah yeah they're they're like oh you're wasting your time yeah. you know like, what oh are you God, doing you're so pretty you're like the ripe age like blah blah yeah, blah yeah, you should yeah, have yeah. a nice boyfriend girlfriend yeah and then once you get a boyfriend or girlfriend a uh, boyfriend or girlfriend they start judging them and like you know like <laughs> you can get someone better yeah yeah like <laughs> really? what does your boyfriend drive or like <laughs> where does he live what's oh he's a doctor <laughs> you know that kind what of stuff what does she look like yeah <laughs> like, she look like oh my god it's so stressful here yeah, I, I kind of understand. Like this whole talk pretty much concluded why people hate but getting David, married like, and stuff. But David, like you have someone that you're in- excited about uh, these days? I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know if I'm ready to say about this on live. <laughs> but yeah, I recently had a surprising encounter. Ooh. Um, and uh, we're in talks, <laughs> and I think we're vibing. So Why are you laughing? Do you I'll have, have to see where this goes. <laughs> I hope she's not an AI. <laughs> <laughs> How an AI? Like, yeah, what, yeah. What, are you, what do you think of me as? Like what? <laughs> Wow. Okay, I'm offended. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, before Kelsey has to go, shall we, like, what? So you're not dating anyone? Uh, no. And you haven't dated a Korean Korean guy for? Yo, you know what? The guy we met yesterday with the dog. Oh yeah. Remember at the yes. park? Okay, so we were having brunch yesterday at the park. Are you gonna date him and then now? no, listen up. <laughs> we met this guy with a dog yeah. and then he wanted to go for dinner with me and then we had dinner, right? And then he was like hitting on me. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he like, lived in LA for four years. Yeah, he yeah. was like eight years older, but he's like actually Korean. He doesn't speak much English. Oh. And um he was like, Oh, how long has it been since you're single? Blah blah blah. And I'm like, Oh, these days I don't want to date. Mm-hmm. And he was like, so like he didn't can't get mm. his head mm. around that concept. And I'm like, uh. but what do you do if you don't date your twenty five? blah 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 and I'm like oh I enjoy like hanging out with my friends I enjoy I actually these days love re- reading philosophy <laughs> alone wow. and like I prefer that rather than going on a date with someone that's like not um, interesting for me mm. and then he was like you're so weird he literally said I'm weird really? that's, that's what I'm talking about he's like this eight years older about. than you right yeah. so he's yeah. 90 mm. right but the people who are right now like at that age like they're looking for people that they're trying to like that's settle down true. with so that's why maybe you just like having fun he might not like understand the concept oh my god all that happened but after I, I left that's so funny yeah you were uh. yeah because <laughs> all of the guys that I've been like recently meeting, I've been meeting so, so many people like, wow. like yes, not, not, girl. No, no not like just like people in general um, there is everyone, <laughs> no everyone's just like oh like I think because I am at kind of at my prime age so I feel like for your in, prime age no like I'm like the age of where like people would think I sh- would be getting married yeah, or something yeah, yeah. so everybody kind of approaches me in that way but now I'm just mm. trying to have like fun so mm-hmm. I'm like okay like 
that's a little too serious um, for me personally right now. Then yeah. for you, because you want to have three kids, are you worried about like... <laughs> did she say she wants to have three well, kids? I, did, I, did. Oh, yeah. I, I want three kids, yeah. Really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Are you also worried about like your fertility window? And are you willing to In a way, freeze your eggs and whatnot? Oh, I actually wow. considered. I did. Okay. But then um, personally for me, like I, the next person th- that I meet, I would want to just date for like only like a little bit because I was kind of in like a lot of relationships or a long term long relationship long Long relationship Mm -hmm. so um personally i feel like the next person i meet i will know or have an eye of what i would want in Mm -hmm. my partner right and if it feels right you are willing to sign the deal yeah i think that's why it's a little bit easier for me to kind of like know in Mm -hmm. a way when i'm even though i'm like being like meeting a lot of like like girls or like a lot of guys what's my ideal ideal? husband material well i like opas okay yeah but not too much (laughs) oh they could be too much too yeah what's your age limit up up like eight up okay. eight, up Whoa. eight, Slide into yeah, up eight. <laughs> um, I like opas, and um, I like a guy. If they could speak English, that'll be a plus. But I can yeah. date Korean guys as well. A lot yeah. of my like Korean American friends are like, "How can you date like a Korean Korean guy?" Especially because communication and stuff. But I think I'm getting used to it because I feel like Korean guys are very more like detailed in a way. Um, they know since they're always yeah. like you know in a relationship or like mm. they're dating i feel True. like personally they're trained they're a little trained like yeah. in a way yeah like you just said it like they're yeah. always in a relationship and i feel like for you dating a korean guy it's almost like you dating a foreigner because you you, you say like uh, they were for <laughs> so maybe it's like uh exotic to you in that sense but I they, feel, I feel. they find they find me very like interesting yeah, yeah, even like the fun. way i yeah, talk it's like international yeah. dating i'm like talking to them fun. like what does that mean i was like they're like talking and having a conversation yeah. and i'm like i'm so sorry and then, and then they start laughing and then that? i'm like yeah. Oh, okay, they're like, no, you're very interesting. And I'm like, oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, same. Like, I think they view us as slightly exotic. Yeah, we are yeah, different. No yeah. The Korean Korean guy, the one that's eight years older than me, mm. he was like, why are you like, um, no, nesung? Like, not shy. Oh, and trying yeah. to be yeah. like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'm like, why should I? I'm not interested. Yeah, you're not oh, a yeah. Korean Korean girl. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So are you gonna date him or no? No. Okay. The dog guy. <laughs> he had a husky. The, the dog gorgeous husky. Oh, you should date him then. Cute. Yes. Dog. Like so that cute. sole fact that he has a husky. It was like, a gorgeous go husky. For it. No, 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 no. Like, no, no, no. They're the best I can, people. I can parent the husky together. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Anna? Like, you were very excited about seeing a guy. Now I mean, now. okay, let me be frank. I haven't, like, okay. the last oh, this is name, I, Frank? <laughs> let me be frank. <laughs> you, you think I've been single for a long time? Yeah. To be honest, I'm, like, constantly dating. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. okay. And but, she, like. At this okay. point, she knows what she wants, which yeah. I'm so happy for her. I want what to do you want? Stage. I met someone that I really got excited. I haven't felt this Through excited. Through a party that I invited. Okay, Wait, that, I can put this out? Yeah, I really don't care. Whoa. He's not gonna watch this. Uh, maybe he will. But I'm not gonna if say his name. He's interested in you. I, he, nobody will know who he is. Like, yeah, I can see. Okay. So basically, over the weekend, Kelsey uh, invited me to some party. You, she met this like like older Korean guy when she was partying at times in exactly. Abuja. Yeah, and then she met mm-hmm. this guy, and then he invited her to this party. She's like, "Onni, come to this thing with me." It was in Songsudong. And I was like, halfway during the day, I was like, it's I'm so tired. Girl. I need yeah. to build up the story. Okay. <laughs> and then halfway during the day, I was like, almost legit was considering cancelling because I was like, I actually don't want to go to this. I'm too tired. Yeah. And then she came and there were a lot of legit, they were all business guys. So yeah. they were all entrepreneurs. And I also like those kinds of guys. And also like prime age for dating. See? And Anna was like, oh, they're, they're all so perky. There's, they're all, all the <laughs> yeah, they're all affected. Yeah. To, like unconsciously. Unconsciously. See? No, I, I, I just get excited by hot guys. Like that's it. No, oh. but then it's like, a plus like since they're like you so know they have like prime r- age, the, yeah, yeah prime age entrepreneurs or like you know yeah and, and like this, this one guy he was standing near the poker table and he was i could tell he works out through his sweatshirt yeah, I could, was, like, and i was like touching his arms like, <laughs> and i was like oh hey so and i was like hey I, i'm a gym bunny too like i can tell you work out and that's how we got to talking and we have the same mbti and i always really want to date an entj <laughs> yeah. like me yeah. because oh, they're, no. they're, 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 he's enfj and i do not like enfj uh, Fatin was an ENFJ. <laughs> oh my god, like this MBTI talk. I just want to ask you it guys, matters. like, it matters. It, it matters? Yes. It's Please someone, no it does. F. Please no F. No feelers. Oh what, my god. Wait, so, like, if. if Please you, no T. Oh my god, I you can't. guys. Like, so. Dude, T guys are. 
The worst to date. Wow, I just want to ask this question. Like, you know how you guys are the worst to date. The viewers right now are pretty much confused right now because, like, they don't know what is going on. Like, what the hell is MBTI? But like, it's the Myers Briggs personality test. I cannot communicate with feeler guys. I cannot communicate with thinker like. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Like, when you meet a guy, like you have a first impression, and you like you know if you click or not, like you vibe or not, right? And he reveals his MBTI. Like you. Had a good first impression. Mm. If he doesn't have like a compatible MBTI with you, is that like a turn off? Like no, if you, the you MBTI doesn't change the game. But usually when I don't like the person, he ends up being a feeler. So I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> oh, so it's like a. Yeah, of if course, I like him and he ends up prophecy. being oh an ESJ, then it's not a deal breaker. No, it's wow. obviously it's not a deal breaker. But once you ask, you're and a feeler, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> knew it. Knew it. <laughs> I'm a feeler too. <laughs> I would date you. Yeah? No, yeah. It's not a deal breaker at all, but it's just like nice to keep in mind actually what straight. they are. Because any conflicts that you have, I try to understand. Just <laughs> like my Wait, so, okay, hypothetically, hypothetically, if, if I set you guys on a blind date mm. and you don't know how the guy looks or whatever, you mm. just heard uh, good stuff about him, but mm. I say that, I say his MBTI mm-hmm. on paper, you know what it is. Mm-hmm. If it had that, like, you know, feeler. Yeah, or whatever, mm. would you just filter him? on the spot no 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 no, 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 no. as i said it doesn't change the deal it doesn't change anything but usually when i don't like the guy he ends up (laughs) being a feeler but if you have that big data like why why bother like meeting but if he has all the other good qualities that you're willing to just like Mm -hmm. overlook and some people um have a spectrum if they go to therapy and stuff oh no and also like there's a lot of people who are very flexible when it comes to relationships and you know you guys can work something Mm -hmm. out and communicate something out there might be people who are very stubborn okay you know and it could match their mbti but then Mm -hmm. also there could be people who are more flexible with that too yeah and feelers they can be either clingy or they can be like romantic in a good way so Mm. well well, circling back (laughs) to like the main topic again i think we're it's about to like conclude a little bit but I just want to ask this. Um, so you guys are all like sp- speaking in dating terms right now, mm-hmm. right? But if we get a little bit more serious about like marriage, Ooh. would MBTI, like, I mean, you're going to live with the guy like at least 10 plus years, right? Yeah, and that's a long matter. time. It doesn't matter. MBTI doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you're going to marry the wrong person anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> and like people, yeah. people change over the years anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's about like whether you guys can communicate and whether the big values match in terms yeah. of wanting kids and career. And, and if you're both willing to compromise the same amount for each other. Okay. Yeah. okay. I think with marriage, it's just like if you guys are on the similar like page about things, because mm-hmm. even though you might be compatible with somebody, you guys can be on totally different stages in life. And I feel yeah. like you just need to find somebody who's at that same stage in life as you and who wants to build something together yeah. with you yeah mm, i find this so interesting because like i don't know about you guys but like a lot of my girlfriends mm-hmm. they literally some of them take mbti so seriously mm-hmm. that they actually filter out guys from the get-go like i heard even korean companies filter out yeah, like, employees according to mbti they do oh, they really? do and like, we don't want to hire a specific. I've actually had this talk with one of my friends, and she was like, "If that guy's like an INF, whatever INFP or whatever, I would never consider marrying him or whatever." Oh, interesting. I think that's a bit close-minded, way too. Yeah. That is very yeah. shocking to me. I agree. Because people do change. Maybe that's it's the her thing. Standards. Yeah. 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 What, what if the guy's a mama boy? I feel like that. I'll be like, "How old's your mom?" <laughs> I feel like what the girls you just mentioned is yeah. the equivalent of girls saying like, "Oh, I will never marry a Sagittarius or whatnot." I it's feel the like dumbest silly. thing. But you know, guys believe this too. Recently, like I was just meeting a bunch of people, and they're like, "Oh, what's your MBTI?" This guy was like, "What's your MBTI?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm an ESFP." He's like, "Oh, that ESFP don't a man then." I was like, <laughs> "I was like." Korean, Korean. I was like, I was like, Korean, yeah. Korean, like, Korean guys, right? Was like, yeah, yeah. He was Korean, 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 Korean. Korean. Yeah. and I was yeah. like, oh, like it's like a thing, like Korean, Korean guys too. There's it's like, very prevalent. And I was yeah. like, okay, like, yeah, hmm. it's very shocking to me. Mm-mm. And I was about to say something, but I just forgot. Okay. Um, yeah, but. <laughs> Anyways, oh, something interesting. I'm trying to just keep on talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remind myself. Like, I mean, so yeah, I mean, but I'm usually very tea, but like, if I find someone that I really, really like, then I do t- find myself in terms of the relationship turning in more, a bit more F. Or like, but like just for him. Yes. But everything else in like in terms of work, I'm very T and yeah. J and planner. Yeah, I agree. Because you have to be, I can't, yeah, for in terms of work and professional, if people get emotional during business or work, I get, get very frustrated with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, work is work, just do your 
job yeah. like yeah yeah that that's why sometimes it's very hard to have a relationship in korea like people don't know how to respect other people's yeah, like, they yeah. get super professions emotional and for work personal yeah. time yeah. like you have to text constantly yeah. and that kind of stuff so i think overall like what we said so far like generational money and uh what do you call it social, social. pressure <laughs> policies i worry for my nieces and my nephews education yeah mbtis the dating pool is just gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller yeah. so that's why okay. you need to get out of the korean mindset and They're learn foreigners. a second language yeah. exactly you mix yes. up the gene pool and just like why just date like locally I yeah, yeah so like what i've noticed nowadays having a lot of talks about this kind of topic mm, 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 is mm. that it always ends with the conclusion of like just date foreigners yeah, yeah it's true international and we also have marriage. to accept a lot of immigrants like in terms of population yeah. and everything yeah. so it's like inevitable yeah you know? so like, david good luck <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think I it's feel like also this is going to be super insightful when we watch in 10 years and see who's like oh i know <laughs> Like Mamma Mia. It's like a time capsule. Like yeah. have kids. <laughs> but then there's also like a cultural thing too. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe I, I feel like it's really like this. But yeah, yeah like for me, good luck, like, Sabini, with your three kids. God bless you. <laughs> I like. So I, are you are you like religious, like Catholic or? I am. I'm just oh, religious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you still have some sort of sacred belief about like marriage. It's like holy. Yes. Or maybe I think that's that's also. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, those are my beliefs. Yeah. Okay. But like, even if international marriage gets widespread, mm. I don't think uh, international dating gets widespread. I don't think the parents would approve at the end too. So that's gonna cause a yeah, lot yeah. Of definitely conflict. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hurdles after hurdles. But yeah. that's why it's a generational gap. Once they die out. Like, would you, like, if you have. Like, <laughs> you David, keep saying, like, like David, you keep if saying you, once they die out. If you, if you, oh, can I spill the tea about, like, that time you said that comment? <laughs> that, that comment. Time. Whisper it to me. To, I to, to, to um, Sajangnim, to Tepionnim. <laughs> that night, you remember that crucial, cruel comment you said about someone's mother in law? No, you can't say this. You cannot oh, wow. say this. Okay, I won't okay. say this. Okay. I will yeah, tell you after not, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something really <laughs> cruel about. Oh. It's because you're a feeler. You just feel that it's cruel. No, no. When you hear that, like it was in the line of something like she said right now. If the gen, if the parent generation just dies, but it's, you know? it, but it's like it's cruel, but it's like not not true. Like David, like for example, if you had a kid, right, mm -hmm. and they they said they wanted to have international marriage, would you care? Um, no. Yeah. See, no. it's a different like it's yeah. different like attitude. Yeah. But to be honest, like I have an uncle who got married to a Chinese woman actually, and my grandma. I mean, she just had to become fine with it yeah. in the end. Yeah, but you guys can't understand me right now. But like, if you heard Anna's <laughs> comment, oh. You thought you get you. Oh my God, <laughs> death is not a solution. Uh, but I'll just leave it there. But, yes. Um, but yeah, I think we've touched a lot of uh, subjects today. It was very. It was a very, it was very fun. Like very this wasn't even very structured or anything. Yeah. I just brought a few questions and you guys just like went on with. Call them. us out next time again. Really? Like it. Yeah, really? It's fun. Okay. I only yeah. come if I get paid. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I promise I'll pay you guys once it starts getting monetized. <laughs> so for the Kickstarter sponsors, period, sponsors hit us up. Yeah, I need some drink sponsors and <laughs> yeah. pizza sponsors. And check and out nalvashop.com. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So pizza shops hit me up. Um, oh, by the way, just before we end, do you know why this show is called the Korean Pizza Club? Why? Your why? own interpretations. Like, give me your own uh, interpretations. Everybody like has a like TV? different topping, like different top topping. True, and true. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there like a TV show? Was no. Something, something no, club. No. Why? Like it's just like I a thought it was a clever name, but nobody's getting the catch of it. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Korean. No, it's it's just like, you know how Korean pizzas have like very absurd and over the top, top toppings, mm, toppings and stuff, and stuff? Like, yeah. like bulgogi, like sweet potato, potato and all shrimp. that weird stuff. But pizza essentially is like, an, first it's originally Italian food, mm. but it's like an international food. Like Korean pizza. Yeah, and then Korean pizza is like Koreanized. It's already Koreanized. too complicated. People are not going to get it. I get it. Really? Yeah. It's the way I explained <laughs> it right now, but it's like, you know, we're just international folks talking about Korean subjects like Korean pizza. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So just chill. Except the, the last time. Oh, that's weird. 
<laughs> I need to eat. the last line about the pizza being flat. It's like, <laughs> but you know, the best New York pizza is flat. It's not meant to be like poofy. It's meant, like the best crispy Italian style pizza is flat. Yeah. Like, you did good. It yeah. Was, or good. Uh, let me know about the uh, name. I, I might change it down the line, but like we also thought about like changing it to the Korean single club. Mm. Oh, yeah. Club, yes, yes, since yes, yes, everyone's yes. single here. Yes. So. And then if they but end up getting not... a boyfriend, they could just graduate. Yeah. Yeah. And what if you don't want to graduate? What if you still want to talk and take part? No, you can't. You have to be single. You have to be single. If you want to no, no, come no. back in the club, you got to be single. Exactly. Yeah, no, relate. no, sorry. It's a fun yeah. system. It's, yeah. a, it's a fun system. Yeah, and then they're just going to be... What if David is the first one to leave then? Oh, then you can continue as well. Okay, I'll be her. David can be the coop. The monitor. Yeah, but... Anyways, this was the first episode. I think it was very successful and fruitful talks about Come Korean marriage. Come subscribe on my channel, Kelsey the Korean. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> it was about Korean society, marriage, and the problems we have. Uh, tell us your thoughts in the comments. Uh, hope you tune in for more of the, this kind of talk mm -hmm. insights. It's not always going to be like socially hev heavy uh, subjects or anything like that. We're talking about like dating or lifestyle, all that sort of stuff. So tune in. Uh, the guests might also change as well. I'm, I'm thinking of bringing dudes to yeah. next time. That'd I need so some allies here. Or even like mixing it up too, cause like they're all different. Yeah, yeah, and foreigners as well, their mm -hmm. lives in Korea. So it's all gonna be that, just like Korean pizza, uh, you don't know what you're gonna get. So yeah, uh, stay tuned uh, and hope you enjoyed. Bye. So, bye bye, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.